Hi guys, I am Aji and I tried Duvisal skincare for one month. So, like I said, hi, I'm Aji. I tried Duvisal skincare for one month and this is how my skin looks like now. Um, I don't have any makeup on, no, um, no eyebrows, no face cream, no foundation, no BB cream. This is literally how my skin looks after my skincare. I'm going to take you guys on my one month journey while using the Dewy Cell Skincare Routine. Uh, but, but before all of that, let me um, give a short disclaimer. First of all, you may think that this video is sponsored. No, it's not. These products were sent to me in PR. They usually ask for one video in replacement and I already did that. It's my um, Dewey Cell Private Care Mask review. Um, I tried it out. I loved it. If you want to see the video, it's gonna be right here. <laughs> it's gonna be right here. Check it out. Um, but yeah, I've already done that video in return for the free products. So no, this video is not sponsored. It is PR, but I promise you that I'm going to be 100% honest with my thoughts regarding the brand, especially because uh, my skin is at risk here. If something goes bad or if something went bad within the one month of me using this Dewey Cell skincare, you guys would be the first to know. Now that that's said and done, let me talk about Dewey Cell as the brand. Um, Dewey Cell is a Korean skincare brand. They're really popular in Olive Tree, which I guess is like kind of like a Korean shop. They recently branched out and started campaigns in Southeast Asian countries, I think. Right when I got the products, they opened up their shop. It's dewysell.ph. They have a lot of stuff. They have cushions, they have tinted lip balms, they have face masks. Out of all the things that they have, I'm mostly going to be reviewing four of them. So these are the products that I've got. A lot of my, a big part of my skincare routine is based on Dewey Cell, and I really don't think I'm going to change it soon because um, my skin really loves it. <laughs> but before I show you guys the clips of me using these items week per week, I'm going to show you guys the items um, by themselves and what they do.
my background. My skin is very oily, um, and I have a very acne-prone skin. Um, it's not really sensitive. It's just very. Um, when I get acne, the scars take a really long time to go away. Um, as you can see, it's been my. I would say it's my number one problem. The first week after using the skincare, I don't really remember much of the first week of using the skincare. I think my skin was like still getting used to the products and I didn't really see that big of a difference. Hi guys, so this is the one week check-in. It's around what like 9 a.m. I think in the morning. This is January 1st. So far, what I've been noticing with my skin is that I don't wake up oily anymore. I used to have very like severely oily, oily skin. One of the most noticeable difference after using these for one week is that my skin got super smooth. And I noticed that um, a lot of the tiny bumps that I usually have on my skin, I'm hoping it um, goes away after one month. But <clears throat> yeah, as for the redness and like marks, I... I'm not noticing any difference as of now. Hello. So it's probably already been like more than a little bit more than two weeks now. And um, this is how it's looking like. I can't really see much of a difference. But in terms of feel, I legit can't stop touching my face because my face feels so smooth. It's been very plump. Like I think this is what they call the elastic effect of the dewy cell skincare. Um, your skin will feel bouncy and smooth like the small bumps I have on my chin and my forehead are like slowly going away and so that's nice it feels nice to wash my face it feels nice to apply skincare it hasn't lightened my acne scars I'll see you guys in the third week by the third week I think midway to set um, mid midway second to third week uh, I tried curling my hair and this is what happened. I burned my face. It did leave a nasty scar, <laughs> which I don't know if it will go away, but I wasn't, for a short time, I wasn't able to do my skincare, but I did read that it was really good to moisturize the area. This is what I did. I put on the Sika Plus Balm because I heard that um, Sika, Centella Asiatica, is really good for skin healing, wounds, Call me crazy or delusional, but I think it really is what helped heal my skin faster. I think my skin after like four days was okay. The burnt skin already uh, already fell off naturally. But yeah, I think this was really what got me through the third week. <laughs> um, over the time, I did notice that I do have this fresh glow after I wash my face, like after I washed especially in the morning i after i wash my face my skin feels really nice feels really soft bouncy also i did ask um my sister if she thinks my acne scars got better and she did say it lightened a little bit but one thing that i really really would like to note when i was doing my skincare i noticed that i don't have rough blackheads anymore i don't know why that is <laughs> i did not have to do a nose a pore strip this entire month uh, my nose feels really soft and smooth i normally get whiteheads around my face and that caused like some of the spots here because like i get those whiteheads and i pick them out i like force them out <laughs> i'll see you in the last week of um me checking in on my Dewey Cell skincare. So by the fourth week, my skin felt brand new. Um, my skin wasn't oily anymore. My skin felt really healthy. It felt really smooth. Also, one thing is that I didn't really break out during this entire month. I mean, aside from these, um, I got both of these because I tried St. Ives. <laughs> uh, I got around, I would say, three to four pimples. Very small ones, sometimes very big ones. And I didn't really have any of those um, this month while using the skincare. In terms of lightening the scars that I already have way before, um, 
it did well, but it did not really do a magical job of fading away my pimple scars from way before. I think I have, I have these two. Like I don't know if you can see it, but these two scars right here were, I think, I think they're about more than a year old, and they've been really frustrating. I've been trying a lot of skincare to get rid of the scars. I tried a vitamin C serum which didn't really work. Uh, but this pimple left a light ice pick scar and um, I don't know if you can see but from the before photos it had really dark pigment around it. Very brown and um, really dark as well as this one. The, the skin around it was very brown. Uh, the skincare didn't really address it completely. Like I said, it's not completely light. But after trying a lot of different skincare, a lot of different serums for my acne scars, um, this skincare set is the only one that did a noticeable difference for me. I don't really think that Dewey Cells brand is the acne lightening brand. Of course, they have niacinamide in some of their products. I think they have niacinamide in the Sika cream and their serum. Their brand is focused more on skin barrier repair, moisturizing. I checked out most of their claims on the products and they're actually very good. I did feel the elastic effect. My skin barrier feels so much greater. My skin felt smoother, more moisturized, more healthy. Um, and it did somehow lighten up my scars. So overall, I would rate these products a 10 out of 10. It's an A plus for me. I would continue using all of these products. And honestly, like I'm fine with my skin having a few scars here and there. After using this skincare, uh, I wanted my skin to feel more healthy rather than look clear. Yeah, I mean, I achieved it. My skin feels really glowy right now. So if we compare the prices of these, um, to the prices of Korean skincare, it's definitely at a cheaper slash competitive price point. But if we compare it to Philippine skincare, of course, these, this is going to be at a slightly more expensive price point. I believe both of these run at 650 pesos. And you might think, wow, that's, that's like really expensive. But this Ampio serum is at 80 grams. I think Lux Organics sells their serums at around 400 to 500 pesos. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they, they do sell their skincare at um, their serums at around that price. And for 400 to 500 pesos, you get around 30 grams of serum. Uh, whereas for 650, you're gonna get 80. And I think they sell 100 ml of this serum for 760. These items range from 600 to 700 plus. After a month, a month and a half, I've, I've used half of this half of this, half of the ampule cream which is 100 ml. I haven't really touched the turn on cream much so it's basically still full as well as the eye cream. I use this a lot day and night and it's still full. <laughs> so yeah, you are going to get your money's worth. So overall, this skincare set has been magical. It, I like it. I really love it. I can definitely confidently recommend it. I like the effects it had on my skin and I think it's absolutely worth the money. You are going to get, I think, maybe around two months of use with all of these items. The eye cream and turn on cream, you're going to get maybe even a year. If you're a very big fan of Korean skincare, this skincare brand is going to be a slightly cheaper alternative for you. And their stuff is definitely worth the money that you're going to put it in. If you're someone who's looking for a little more budget trendy, I would definitely try checking out other brands. but. For me, personally, this is a brand that I could confidently spend my money on because I know the effects it's going to have on my skin. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's the one month of experience that I've had with Dewey Cell Skincare. It's definitely very, very good. And again, I would highly recommend it to anyone who has the budget for new moisturizing skincare. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, make sure to follow me on all of my social medias. And if you want to see more content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!